you guys and now outside our hotel it's 8 a.m. in the morning and it's so cold right now the current temperature now is 1 degree Celsius you can see my breath I don't think the camera can pick it up but you can see my breath right now and it is so cold right now according to um, weather the app um, in Liberty Island it's 0 degrees Celsius one thing guys that New York is much colder than Amsterdam or Paris last Christmas we went to Europe watch my vlog it's currently in my YouTube channel I went to four different European countries and 12 different European cities and it is no match if you compare its coldness in New York and in Amsterdam or Paris New York is much much colder it's really cold right now it's zero degrees Celsius when we went to Europe, the coldest we felt was around 3 or 4 degrees Celsius and that was in Paris. In Paris, the temperatures are around 3 to 4 degrees Celsius. In Amsterdam, it is about 5 to 6 degrees Celsius. And in Brussels and Cologne, it was around 9 to 10 degrees Celsius. I was just standing outside and I don't know if marijuana is legal in the US. I know the smell of marijuana because when we went to Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, marijuana is legal. Then I sm smelled marijuana and I know how it smells. And I just saw a guy passing and smoking and it smelled like marijuana. I'm not sure if it's legal in New York, but I just smelled the guy smoke and it smells like marijuana. But anyway, guys, it's so cold that it's zero degrees Celsius, absolutely cold. One thing, guys, here in our hotel in the Americana Inn, here in the Americana Inn, you could pay $13. If you pay $13, you get a free breakfast. And they will also give you water in your room. So you'll get water and you'll also get a free breakfast. I'm just waiting for my mom because she's still upstairs. And me and my dad is just outside taking the nice view here. Our hotel is in the center of Manhattan. All surrounded by really nice buildings look at this guys so nice and my camera is so cold right now I'm not wearing any gloves because we're still gonna go back up after we eat our breakfast because today we are going to the Statue of Liberty we're going to Liberty Island okay so my camera just cut out but we're going to the Statue of Liberty we're going to Liberty Island and in the Statue of Liberty, there's a museum, so we're going to check that out as well. And we're going to take a ferry. We're going to take the 10 o'clock ferry to Liberty Island. And I, the camera can pick it up, but my breath is so thick right now. But anyway, guys, we're just waiting for my mom before we take our breakfast for $13 here in the Americana Inn. Hey guys, so my camera keeps cutting out on me probably because the it's so cold that it's zero degrees Celsius in New York City. But if you're planning to check in at Americana Inn here in New York City, keep in mind that the rooms are very, very small. Like it's tiny. The rooms here are very small. You just have your desk, closet, bed. And there's a place like a sink, tiny little sink where you can wash your hands. One more thing other than the rooms are very very tiny is that there is no bathroom inside the hotel room. Um, there's a common bathroom for every five rooms. For every five rooms there's a bathroom. But the bathrooms are okay. It's clean. There's soap. There's shampoo, it's clean, it does cold and hot water, so the bathrooms are okay. But keep in mind the rooms are very, very small. There, it is only a double bed, so keep that in mind. It is really, really small, and you have nowhere to move. But so keep, so yeah, keep that in mind if you want to check in at Americana Inn. So that is what you get 
for $13 in New York. It, back in the Philippines, you could, you could, uh, uh, my whole family could eat in a fine dining Japanese restaurant for $13. But here, that's $13 per person. And the only thing you get there is a bagel, apple, banana, coke, and hot chocolate. Just the price difference for $13 per person here in the US. Get a breakfast buffet with only bagel, banana, apple, coffee, and hot chocolate. But back in the Philippines, my whole family could eat in a fine dining Japanese restaurant for only $13. So for in New York, one person could eat a breakfast buffet with barely anything with barely any selections back in the Philippines a whole family could eat in a fine dining Japanese restaurant but one thing to note it's very expensive here but the people the staff are very friendly the guy who refilled the bagel asked how are we doing about three times so they're really friendly here okay hey guys so we are now heading to the subway station because we are heading to the port and we're going to take the ferry to Liberty Island. So that was really hard finding a way how to use that. It took us like 10 minutes to get by. Good thing there's a good guy who helped us. So we're now gonna go to downtown Brooklyn to go to the port. Hey guys, so we are now boarding the boat. Um, the security for the boat to Liberty Island was intense. The line was extremely, extremely long. It was an airport style security. But anyway guys, we're now in the boat. I was not allowed to record anything. But anyway, we're now gonna head up.
Okay, so we're now going around the uh, Liberty Island and he just gave us this which is an audio guide. So we will make this a guide for us around the island. After Liberty Island, The view of New York City from Liberty Island. Okay, so the tour just ended and after the tour we were hungry so we went to a Nathan's food truck and we got hot dog with fries. Only one, only one, only one. What we got? I got the hot dog and crinkle cut french fries. So here's the hot dog. Mm. That's so good. And it's their crinkle cut french fries. Not so good. Mm. That's so good. Let's we'll see if this works. Okay. Okay. Yes. It works. We are now in our train. And we are now going to head to our hotel. So we just arrived in our station in Times Square 42nd Street. And we're now gonna go to our hotel. Okay guys, so I'm, I'm now here at our hotel room and uh, today um, my dad's friend will pick us up because we will have um, late lunch with them like really late lunch with them um we're gonna have lunch with them at around two to three o'clock it's currently two o'clock p.m and we're just waiting for my dad's friend to arrive because she still was going to pick us up <laughs>
I saw that food in that restaurant was absolutely amazing. There were a lot of selections. That was only $35. If you compare to the buffet breakfast this morning, it was $13. And for $13, you could only get bagel, a couple of donuts, apple, and banana. But for $35 in that restaurant that we just ate at, it was $35 and you have a selection of a lot of things, different types of grilled meat, hot pot, seafood, spare ribs, beef, pork, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean food. We're now gonna head to Times Square, guys. That's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget guys, to drop a big thumbs up for this video and subscribe. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.